Hey everybody, good morning and welcome. It is time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. This morning we are talking about saying yes to your customer. That might sound easier than it really is. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. I tell you what, man, technology is an awesome thing when it works, when I work it correctly. Hey, listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live on Instagram, live on YouTube or Facebook, do me a favor. Drop me a comment in there. Say hi. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Hello. Um, what's the deal with the chicken or the dog? Either one of those, any of the above would be great. Where you, if, if you're still stuck, your name and where you're watching from, all of those would be great. I love hearing from you guys. And speaking of hearing from you guys, uh, today's Thursday. That means tomorrow is Friday. Free coaching Friday coming up tomorrow. Be ready with your question to try and stump the coach. This week, we've been talking about customers, customer service, getting, doing the right thing for your customers. If your question is about that, that's awesome. If it's not, that's okay, too. Um, Thus is the nature of Stump the Coach. All right. So this morning, um, we're, we're, we've been, all week, we've been working through this idea of how to serve your customer well uh, and the value of the customer to the business, focusing on the customer, that sort of thing. This morning, we're kind of working off of a quote, uh, from Robert Brooks that says, you can, you can't do everything for everybody. You can't do everything for everybody, but you can do something for somebody. You know, way too often, and we've talked about this a little bit this week, but way too often we get in our head about what my business does or what my job role is if you're an employee. And, and we look so tightly and so intently within the constraints of that definition that we don't even entertain the ridiculous requests that come from other people. But they're not ridiculous if they're making them. I used the example this morning in, in um, over on the Instagram post that's going to come out this morning and talk about um, the ice cream food truck. Or a cupcake food truck. Uh, that might be a little closer. But ice cream food truck. And they get somebody that walks up and asks for a cup of coffee. That's a ridiculous. Don't you see? Man, look at the sign. This is an ice cream truck. Why would we have a cup of coffee? I don't know. I just wanted a cup of coffee. And you're the food truck that was closest. Thought I'd ask. Never mind. Right? Well, maybe that's not such a ridiculous Request now a cup of coffee, uh, not not such a ridiculous request. You still have to weigh this cost benefit. Putting an, an espresso machine in might be a little much, but can you make a pot of coffee? Yes. And for what coffee's going for these days? A buck a cup. I mean, holy crap, that's not unreasonable. Coffee flavored ice cream. No, that's fantastic. I actually like coffee flavored ice cream. The point is. Um, and, and, and I, ha- I have a friend and mentor who's a line that he has said to me many, many times, if three people ask for it, there's a product opportunity there. You know, so if somebody's coming up to you and asking for a problem, asking you to solve a problem. Maybe that's something to pay attention to. And I tried to find it for today, and I, I couldn't find it, but there's a, a story I read probably a year, two or three ago, about a guy that owned an electronic shop out in California, and his rule for his employees, for his team, was you can never say no to a customer request unless you get another team member to agree that you should not do that. So if two of you agree, then you can say no. Otherwise, you have to say yes. And I mean, here's an electronic store, right? That wound up doing things like proofreading term papers and all kinds of crazy things because they said yes. That might not that. Let's just take the term paper for a minute, right? It 
probably did not turn into a customer immediately, but when they needed a computer, right? I mean, this is the whole point. It's the whole point of what we do. Our job is to solve problems for other people. And, yeah, we should focus on a fairly narrow, um, when, when we're trying to bring a product or service to market, we should focus on a fairly narrow niche, but not necessarily a fairly narrow solution set, right? Because our idea of the solution might not be the best solution. The customer is going to tell you what's best. Value is in the eye of the buyer. If they believe it's the best solution, that's the one they're going to pay for. That's the one they're going to come back to, whether it's yours or somebody else's. If I listen to the customer and you don't, ultimately, I'm going to win because I'm giving them exactly what they'll tell you exactly what they want. Just give it to them. Not that complicated. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. Listen, if you get value from our conversations, our time together every morning, I would love it. Uh, if you would share this video with someone, just this video with one person that you know that could benefit from the message that we talked about today. If you would do that for me, I'd be forever grateful. If you'll tag me in it, I'll send you a big thank you. Give you a shout out on the next show. All right. That's it. Remember tomorrow, free coaching Friday. Have your questions ready. Try to stump the coach. Hey, Kayla. Good to see you. And Joe, as always, thank you for being here as well. Uh, tomorrow, stump the coach. So have your questions ready for free coaching Friday. I'll be back at 7 a.m. tomorrow with another installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a fantastic Thursday.